Hello, investors and traders, and welcome to the Midweek Report. I'm AJ Monty, Chief Technical Analyst with Sticky Trades. And before we get into the chart analysis, let me just point out that the CPI numbers came out hot today. Inflation is still raging higher, and that spooked the market. And tomorrow, we have the PPI numbers coming out at 8.30. So the core PPI numbers will be out the month over month, and then the employment claims will also be coming out. Now, if you've been paying attention to what I've been saying over the past weeks, unemployment numbers are some of the most manipulated, and therefore, we it wouldn't surprise me at all to see unemployment numbers come in lower mm -hmm. and the PPI numbers coming in higher. They would more or less cancel each other out. But again, I'm not going to go down that road of trying to forecast the economic data. But I will say that the market is definitely turning negative. And for those of you who are just joining us from the Wealth 365 webinar that we did yesterday, welcome, welcome. And for those who are new subscribers, again, welcome. These diagonal lines that I have on the chart, you can see these red lines. These are my price targets that when I establish them on the chart, I leave them on the chart so people could see the accuracy in what we're doing here with regard to forecasting. This here was a hit, that was a downside hit, this was a downside hit, hit, upside hit here, downside hit here. Today, this downside target was reached, this downside target from a couple of weeks ago was reached. This has not yet hit. Now here's where we get into what I think we could see towards the end of the week. I'm not gonna put a new diagonal line as a target. I'll leave that for Friday. But I do believe we'll see a slight drop in volume tomorrow. Keep an eye on the volume. And I also believe that we could start moving up towards this 20 period moving average, which is where I have my target set right at the top there. So I, again, I would not be surprised at all to see a bounce after what we've seen today because we are right at a key support level down here. You see from these lows back in February, and again, they tested in mid-February here. So we could see a bounce off of that support level and then move on from there. We'll have to see next week. I think if we go up to test that 20 period moving average, you could see how the 20 period moving average is already starting to curve lower. So that 20 period moving average is going to act as resistance. And as it continues lower, the market could more or less zigzag its way into a downward sloping trend or a downward trading channel. That's what we look forward to here, especially as option traders. Looking at IWM, it's going to be a similar story. We did hit my downside target here. Again, these are past targets that we see on the chart from these diagonal lines. And so I do believe that we're going to see a bounce as well after hitting this target. There is a gap above the market that could very well fill. Again, for those of you that are taking extreme short positions, be very, very careful of a potential bounce here. Because if you look down below, that's a CCI. My most favorite oscillating index is the most oversold it's been all year. So I would not be surprised to see that CCI start to pivot higher and then also see this gap fill up here. So we're going to give that a little bit more time until Friday before I put some more target lines on the chart. But right now, for the end of the week, I think we could see just a tad higher on a possible bounce. That's IWM. Looking at the QQQ, which is the tech sector, we have this came very close within pennies here of hitting my upside target. And this is more or less a spinning top and on higher volume. The oscillators are still moving lower, but the fact that this is a green candle tells us that while it gapped lower on the opening here, we did wind up trading higher. Look at the five minute chart. You can see what happened during the course of the day. We did stay within a narrow trading channel for most of the day. And therefore, I think we could see tomorrow, I could see a bounce just like what we saw in DIA and IWM. All right, so that's QQQ, still a possible bounce towards the end of the week. Now, SPY, this gets really interesting. Now, look at how the price is moving below 
that 20 period moving average. This is a killer here because look at that. The high from yesterday was 520.75 and my target was 521.01. So we're very close within pennies of that. I still think we're going to see a little bit of a bounce in SPY as well. I will also most likely see a drop in volume. I will leave that drop in volume tag on there so we could reference that on Friday. But the reason I think we could go higher on SPY is if you look at the VIX. Now, we did hit my downside target on the VIX. You see that? We did hit my downside target. But I do believe because we have a lower high, it's very hard to see, but we have a lower high today and a lower low. That is a pivot on the VIX. This is the only one that I'm going to extend out to the downside here. I think we're going to make a move to test that 20 period moving average. And so look at the oscillator. We got a sell signal on the CCI for the VIX. Remember, the VIX for the most part is inversely related to the S&P. So if we're seeing a sell signal on the VIX, that means more of a bullish slant to the upside on SPY. And we still have this open gap below the market on the VIX. You see that? So keep your eyes on the charts. Keep your eyes on Sticky Trades. Thank you so much for liking and following and commenting and sharing. We blew through the 10,000 subscriber mark. We literally blew through it. We're almost at 11,000 right now, and that's all thanks to you. We have so much excitement from our members and our subscribers that it's turning. It's not quite viral yet. Not yet. But you are definitely helping us get close to eventually going viral with our channel. We've only started this since July. And to be over almost 11,000 now since July is quite an achievement. And again, all credit goes to all of you. Thank you so much for your comments. Friday, I will be adding more educational content. For the past two weeks, I've covered role reversal. I've covered gap trading. And then what I'm going to do on this Friday, I'm going to talk about bullish and bearish engulfing candles and how not just to recognize them, but how to trade them. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so that you will know when the next video comes out. You won't miss a beat. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.